I can't move too well. Yes, this is TLC starting my 600 pound live season 11 episode one in fine form. And when I say fine form, what I simply mean is by exposing someone's human parts. And considering they did that, I thought, hey, why don't I just go and do the same goddamn thing and scoop myself to their level? But with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, how we all doing today? But before we get into the rest of the episode and show you exactly what went down on the very first episode of season 11, episode one, my 600 pound life, Please make sure you start off by hitting that subscribe button. But of course, as you know, on YouTube, where I show you little, 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 little clips and then explain the situation, of course, due to copyright because of YouTube. But if you want to become a member of my Patreon account, you won't need to worry about me actually stopping the video every 10 seconds or skipping that sort of part. You'll be able to see the full freaking episode with my reaction as well. And of course, it'll always be out the day before it's out on TV. And I'm also cheaper than. Am I, am I cheaper than, 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 than Discovery Plus? I don't know. But anyway, you, you, you check it out. Now I feel like I just bought my own intro. But anyway, let's get into the next part. I don't like when Gino stands up and he can't stand up. Or he breathes heavy. I can't, I can't take it. I don't want to hear it. Yes, meet the mother, Rhonda. Rhonda the Enabler. I can't stand it when Gino stands up. I, can't, I just can't stand the fact that he's breathing gets to my nerves. I can't stand this. I can't stand that. But yet... She enables him. Currently, at this moment in time, Gino's weight is actually unknown. Or well, at least that's how the show begins, of course. But we'll get to exactly how much he weighs, obviously, further down the video. But yes, Rhonda, the enabler. The enabler always wants to complain about, he does this, he does that. But uh, you know what, though? He's my son. I've just got to feed him. <clears throat> I was 36 years old when I had the gastric bypass myself. I didn't want him to get as heavy as I was. But in, then again, you know, deprive my kids from something to eat, it's, it's unheard of in my family. <sighs> I didn't want my son to be obese, mobly obese, but in my family, you're not allowed to deprive anyone of food. Can we please make sense out of that? Can we just normalize that as if everyone should be doing the same goddamn thing so we can all just blow ourselves up? <laughs> the thing that was, is... The most frustrating with this family or this mother is that uh, her actions are based on the family's actions. Everyone in the family has always been obese, so therefore it is just the way they are. And that's why in the family there is no depriving of the food. But hey, I realized that I was overweight and I realized that I needed to lose the weight. So what did I do? I lost a couple of pounds. Got a surgery. After the surgery, I lost the rest of the pounds. But in that time, with me losing all of those pounds and having that surgery, I was still feeding my son. So I could sit and complain about how, how heavy he breathes. Let's just process that. It's gone. All right, boom. Right now, he's at the supermarket with his mother. They're out there buying food, of course, because that's what they do. And I just want you to process my man's arms. My man's arms are so freaking sweaty. Sweaty from literally just pushing the, 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 the trolley. What do you guys call it again? We call it a trolley here. In America, you all call it something different. I don't know what you be calling it again. What do you call it? The push cart? No, that's not it. What do you guys be calling it? I don't know. Whatever you call it is whatever you call it. You know what I mean? You're all backwards anyway. But either way, the man has got sweaty arms from pushing a trolley. That is not good. But you know the thing that I find so fascinating about people that are obese, right? They have the energy to get up and go and cook in the kitchen. They have the energy to get up and go and buy the food, give or take, but then again, but then again, but then again, though, this is a TV show. Maybe they're forced to go and actually go buy the food, but generally when, when they're not recording, they probably just order the food in anyway, or mom, mom goes and gets it anyway, to be fair. This is all probably for sure, to be fair, so let me know, let me know if they say that, but uh, I, just, I just hit that, I just, I just processed that, to be fair. But anyway, just wanted to show you how sweaty my man's arms is just pushing the trolley like it just shows how much he just doesn't get out enough and how much he just doesn't just doesn't do any exercise it's really sad to watch but anyway we continue six hundred and eighty four pounds and eight wait oh actually no, six hundred eighty four point eight pounds all right yes 
So this is how much he weighs. Near enough 700 pounds, me myself in particular. I generally thought that he was already at 700 pounds, but this is exactly where he's at. Well, let's see what happens next with Mr. Doctor now. What is the requirement for him to get that surgery? Something you tell yourself to justify enabling him. So we have the dynamic at home that has to change. So we are gonna make the changes, right? So Obviously, this is Dr. Now putting, putting it on, on, on the mother. Obviously, you know, he asked the mother, what's going to happen? What's going to happen next? Mom says, listen, at the end of the day, you know, I'm going to make sure the food's good. And I'm going to make sure. And, and she also she also said that um, I didn't realize his, his, his health or his weight was this bad until we took the journey down here. Because on the journey down here, we had to stop more than enough times, which delayed us getting here, you know, pretty much just about on time. And Dr. Now is like, hold on a minute. You can't tell me that you didn't realize how unfit your son was. How unhealthy or something when you can see it. You just justifying your enabling. Doctor now, full force as per usual. We gotta love it, man. We gotta love it. Yeah. When you do that. Well, every day we have that deep culture of eating bad foods and just the bad habits. So this is the cousin Nico. So obviously the show originally was just, was just about Gino, but because Nico's also overweight, Doctor now from a drug that drags him into it. Obviously, ask him the clear question, like, what's going on? What's good, man? Like, why are you big as well? And my man clearly says, I mean, honestly, ladies and gentlemen, when I saw this the first time, I was like, you can't be telling me this. But my man says that he's also overweight because their family have a deep culture of eating. I didn't realize that, that, that there was a culture of fast food eating people. Where is this culture at? I need to find this culture and then sprinkle them all with some, like, some, some, some dust, some sort of, like, I don't know, Unhypnotizing that there is no such thing as a culture for fast food people, okay? That is called being brainwashed by a society that wants you to be overweight. I mean, I call it population control, but hey, that's just me. Some of us have our own conspiracies, you know what I mean? Of why, so, of why it's normal to be unhealthy, but it's weird to be healthy, you know what I mean? Let's just process what's normal and what's weird, right? I guess that's why I'm weird. <laughs> but anyway, I don't know if you guys have ever heard that phrase before deep culture into basic eating unhealthy. Oh, what the whole family is doomed if a lot of families are doomed that's what we're hearing but anyway mm -hmm. if you stick to healthy eating habit and the section i'm going to give you you're going to be able to do 60 pounds easily so he has gino has one month to lose 60 pounds now at this moment in time nico has not been given any kind of instructions okay he's just been told just to you know obviously support and uh join gino on the journey so far and see obviously how he progresses in his own in his own right but yeah, 60 pounds in a space of one month is the task. So uh, let's see what happens. Your weight is 629. Yeah, baby. Man like Gino. Gino the gut. Nah, it's not that deep. But yeah, Gino, 55 pounds he lost in the space of a month. I mean, listen, five pounds short, but 55 pounds is a definitely a good number and definitely a good start and definitely a promising start himself in particular so end of the day man i'm like gab ka, 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 bam i don't know why i'm struggling to get words out of my mouth but anyway let's move on to the next part if you take good mm. but don't forget though if you want to get the whole reaction the full scope of the whole episode patrons where it's at link is down below the, 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 the link is down below in the description this is not the one month victory lap for you right. and um, if you stick with that then you should be able to lose at least 50 to 60 pounds a month so that's your goal so, so now he has the goal he has the goal of losing 50 to 60 pounds per month until he sees Dr. Now, until he sees Dr. Now again for the surgery, okay? So 50 to 60 pounds is the goal that he needs to lose, okay? Per month until he sees Dr. Now. Just remember, remember that, yeah? So your weight loss needs to be at least 20 to 25 pounds a month. Yes, sir. Okay? So Dr. Now has now given Nico his own task, and as, as you heard, it's about... Um, 20, 20, 20, he's at 20 to 25 pounds a month, but obviously 20, let's just say 20 to 30 pounds a month, okay? So that's how much he has to lose until he sees Dr. Now, until he sees Dr. Now again. But also before that, he also needs to go and get weighed. So we're about to see exactly how much he weighs at this current time. 431, not bad. 431, when my man said not bad, you know, I'm thinking what in what world is 431 not bad? Like, bro, you haven't even lost any weight to get to that 431. You are beginning of 431. Thing is though, this, 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 this is the darkest, this is the darkest part about it. He's saying not bad purely because he's nowhere near 700 pounds like his cousin Gino is. That's why he was like, it's not bad. Do you know how dark that is? Like, yo, he showed, he was throwing shade, man. Like, there was no need for that, bro. Not bad. Listen, man, I'm, I'm 431, man. You, you already needed 700, man. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, I, I, I ain't too bad. Yeah, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> okay, whatever. Yeah, but we now know he's got, you know, in the next few months, he has to lose between 20 to, 20 to 25 pounds. Okay, 20 to 20 pounds. If you're, down, but if you're still here, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. Come on now. Let's mess, let's not mess about. Ah, I haven't said it ever yet. I said it's on Patreon, but let me say it real quick, okay? <laughs> but you see this, you see Gino, right? Yeah. <laughs> Correct if I'm wrong, but doesn't he look like the male version of Tammy Slayton? Like, just, just process this. The nose, obviously, he's, he's obviously lost a little bit of weight since the beginning. Still, that was I should have already said it at the beginning because he had a little bit of the forehead and everything. You know what I said? Yeah. <laughs> okay, just wanted to share for pants. Okay, whatever. Let's continue. Mm -hmm. Six twenty nine. Last time I was here. And Dr. Now said I need to at least lose 50 pounds a month. But I don't think he meant for that to be for four months. <laughs> uh, you know what, though? I, did, I didn't deep this the first time, but now I deep it. When he says, I was meant to lose about 50 to 60 pounds per month, but I don't think Dr. Now meant literally like every month. I was like, ah. Oh. That's what he meant. It's, this is when he knew he was ready to fail. Or, or yeah, he expected failure, you know what I mean? Well, let's see what happens. Because that would mean I would need to have lost another 200 pounds to get down to 429. And I think I did good, but not that good. Well, let's just process 200 pounds. 200 pounds is exactly what he should have roughly lost that one, right? All right, cool. So what's that? Space of four months, right? All right, cool. Hmm. Let's see. Hmm. Instead, he lost 70 pounds, which then resulted in a total of. I was gonna, I thought I was gonna be unhappy. Total sort of 125 pounds. That is legit shy of uh, 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 75 pounds. But then again, that first month was a 55. So I don't know if it was meant to be an extra 200 or 200 added on top of 55. But either way, though, he's either shy of 100. And he's either shy of a. No, 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 yes, he's definitely shy of 75 pounds because otherwise they wouldn't, you know, yeah, shy of 75 pounds. But that means obviously he's, uh, his little journey didn't go so much to plan. But hey, man, now we got to find out what Mr. Doctor now has got to say. Mm -hmm. Five pounds a month. So that would mean he had to lose 100 pounds. But like for me, I don't think Dr. Now meant for either of us to have lost that much. Bro, 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 stop, 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 stop with the excuses, man. So I have, obviously I think he paused me, you know what I'm saying? I'm just YouTube, man. Um, but yeah, so 100 pounds is exactly what he should have really dropped by now. But uh, uh, each month for this long, so hopefully Nico has enough weight loss. Um, but Nico only lost 17 pounds in the space of what three to four months. It's crazy, one got 17, one got 17. <laughs> That's so funny. I, I just realized that. But yeah. Hmm. Now, four months later, and you have been losing 18 to 19 pounds a month instead of 50. And Nico, you have been losing 4 to 5 pounds a month instead of 25. So what? Dun, dun, dun! I mean, listen, Nico's face. <laughs> man looks like he's been caught red handed. Red handed. I mean, listen, man, at the end of the day, it is what it is, man. If you don't. All of the instructions properly, this is exactly what happens, you know what I mean? But um, the question is, were they able to turn around and get that surgery? Well, mm. well, here's what I'm gonna do I will schedule you for weight loss surgery in one month. And if I give you a goal of 30 pounds in one month, if you lose, you think you can do that? I promise you I'll lose 30 pounds in this next month. Okay. Well, boom, bam, boom, bam, boom, bam. And he pretty much gives um, Nico exactly the same task, you know what I mean? I think Nico was actually 20 pounds, not 30 pounds. But yeah, if he can do it, then obviously he'll go through with the surgery. Question is, was he able to actually achieve that? That is the main question, right? I mean, it's 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 it's, it's crazy though because Gino Gino sidetrack actually happened because he met a girl. Yes, Pum Pum was so good it distracted him from his own goals. It's funny because at that time Nico actually pulled him up. He said, hey man, what you doing, man? Like I don't see you no more. I don't see you here trying to work with me, trying to trying to help me. All I see you doing is disappearing, not really being here. Like where you at? It's funny though, because that means technically Nico was actually blaming Gino for why he was on a trap because he didn't have support of Gino with him. But Gino was too busy having fun fun with his girl, you know what I mean? But Gino was still able to lose a significant amount of 70, you know what I mean? But yeah, anyway. Alright, boom. So when it came to Gino, Gino actually did end up losing the 
30 pounds. Actually, he lost 28 pounds. So he was actually able to have the surgery, which he did then have, which is good, been successful. But it's now a month later on, and Nico had a task of losing, I believe, 20 pounds, maybe 30 pounds, whatever. But as you saw right there, he was able to lose an astonishing 38 pounds. So he lost more than that was required, which is absolutely fantastic, which clearly means he's also someone that ends up having the surgery as well. As you can see here, after both men have had their weight loss surgery as well as their own weight loss journeys, Genos. Um, obviously, current weight is 422 pounds, and the total loss is 263 pounds. Nico, on the other hand, is at 302 pounds, and total weight loss is 129 pounds. And that is the journey of, of Gino and Nico. So, we have started off the season 11 with a good start, seeing some people actually making some progress, a positive way to go forward. But you know with TLC, they all start off with a little bit of positivity, and then after that... The rest of them start to go down, down, downhill with power. But either way, though, guys, thank you so much for your time. I really hope you enjoyed this episode. Please make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. And like I said before, if you want to see the full reaction to the full episode, it's up in particular, then that is on my Patreon account. Link is down below in the description. But with that being said, though, let's stop wasting time and uh, subscribe, comment down below, and I'll catch you guys down there.